And welcome to It's All About the Youth, baby. I love football. It's that time of year. You want to believe it. You want to believe it. I know you talk about, I don't believe it's that time to see <laughs> Bay yet, but she's here. Yep. Me she's and my main man. 15 we, years, man. We said we was going to bring it back. Uh, she's we, here, man. We went to a different trophy. Uh, what was it? 2010. Yeah, 2010. Kind of switch up. No, 2012. Yeah, it, it, Bay hadn't been gone that long. Okay. Yeah. Twenty community cup, man. He's been calling it Bay on the past. Every, couple of everybody calls it Bay. Yeah, so now it's the, Bay, yeah, but it, <laughs> but it's actually the community cup. cup. The community yeah. cup. So, uh, yeah, dude, bringing it back for the 15 year anniversary, man. It, it's supposed to be what the silver. This it's supposed to be a silver, silver anniversary yeah, or silver. crystal. No, a crystal. 15 years crystal anniversary. He knows all of. We brought the silver. She here. fact checker. I did fact checking fact. on some of the past shows. Yeah, on on the show last week. And the week before that, about did? fact check. Oh yeah, so is there some things that we need to have? Some clarity? things were true, some things was false. Oh yeah. what? Okay, it's like the fact that all the running backs came from one style of offense. That's not true. Yeah, we. Well, I kind of uh -huh. clarified. Yeah, that, I think. but they didn't yeah. let you talk about. It. They didn't. Let, they didn't want to hear that. They, they were so were, busy. Yeah. I mean, Clyde Collette, We watched them yeah. Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Go bananas. Yeah. But yeah. the the fact that more kids come from that program was not true. You got to give some of the older programs yeah. who've been around. Yeah, yeah. Again, Leo Collins just got a contract extension. Five from, years. From the Rams. Yeah. Five years, yeah. And, He's, I'm, and hands down, and, I, and I'll be the first one to say the Rams have more kids in the National Football League probably than any yeah. organization. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because once, they're, they, older. They've been, they're yeah. the older. They're the grandfather of the league. Yeah. And they, I mean, hands down, when you look at from the Michael Clayton's of the world they, to the Warwick Dunn, yeah, who's Marcus his, Spears, Marcus Spears, those guys are you know Moeldy Moore, yeah. you know I can keep naming, but it, guys it, that it came goes from to the fact that during that era there was only one youth football team yeah. that service the community that community well everybody kind of played in their community <laughs> yeah. then you know if you lived in glen oaks you were a bandit if you yeah. lived in dixie you played but that was later that was later on and in yeah. the earlier parts of the it was only the rams the rams was well, the first, first yeah, way, way so it's it, way so way it back you know even more do i'm saying even in well, that i mean i grew up i grew up in brookstown you when i was in a the little 90s, bit, yeah. yeah so i'm a i'm a 80s 80, 80, late yeah. 80s 90s yeah. baby so and if you lived in Brookstown, you played for the Howard Park Cougars. Yeah. I mean, that's just what Well, I played for the Howard Park Lakers. Yeah. That's so, why. Yeah, so <laughs> I was a Laker. I played for Lakers coach, coach, uh, coach Jones. And Coach Ellis. Oh, yeah, yeah you yeah, did. Yeah, you yeah, listen to Jones so, as a coach. Yeah. yeah. So I, you just look back, and people, I mean, either your dad was friends with the guy. That's what it was. Know, or whatever, <laughs> or your parents trusted him. Because I was in Scotlandville. My dad was friends with the guy that coached with Howard Park Cougars, so he right. would come get me, right. and we would go to practice. Right. I remember playing Pat in, uh, in youth ball, in on, basketball, man. and ended up playing against him in high school in basketball when he was at McKinley. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you, man, as we get into the show, man, this is going to get interesting. We're going to, you know, look at some of the matchups for this year. Uh, in the first in week one, yeah. We're gonna start. Well, we're going to play around with some of the it's some of the fun matchups. The fun matchups, <laughs> yeah. brother. You know, and it's unique, interesting <laughs> exactly. conversations is going to come There's up. There's a backstory behind. Right, that. <laughs> right, right. So you don't want to really, you know, go away from the TV right now because we're going to cover some things and talk about some things that maybe some people may say, eh, I wouldn't say that. Who can Because they got some people playing for colors again. Right. They got some people playing for practice fields. So. All of that, man. Lights. <laughs> free light. light. They <laughs> <laughs> so it, they right. income tax checks. Inco they get, it gets serious, man. Do you really think people play for income tax checks? Man, I done seen somebody want to jump off the bridge because they done lost their house <laughs> note. <laughs> Being out there, they done lost their Chuck house note. Chuck the house note. <laughs> yeah, now, on, now they want to fight everybody. So, so, so gambling on children's games is big. Well, you know they had that big incident in Florida where yeah. there was a barber shop that never cut hair. All they did was gamble on youth sports. Wow, not NFL, NBA, Major League Baseball. It was youth sports. So that's why the pressure is really on most of the time. Yeah, because so, Uncle Nook Nook that well, came out there and said, "I got, I got two hundred that my nephew and his team gonna kill y'all. <laughs> yeah. Spot me six points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. So, Which is illegal. We do it, not condone yeah. that foolishness. So we do not please, condone it, definitely. So please don't, don't bring it out to the stadium because that causes confusion. But right. again, we made... We made arrangements. We made reservations with Parish Prison, and we also made arrangements with some escorts for you. We got a bail bond to come to too. <laughs> yeah, fact. so <laughs> we have a bail bond. So we're going to put you in jail and then get you and out get of jail. I tell you, you shouldn't have did it. But when we come back, 
We'll get more into it. We're going to get into the seniors, man. We're talk, talking about the seniors and stuff. I want to really talk about these Jaguars I've been seeing. Oh, my God. <laughs> keep it locked right here on It's All About the Youth. to say great job, congratulations, or way to go? Crown Trophy on Sherwood Forest Boulevard in Baton Rouge has the trophy, plaque, acrylic, or crystal award you're looking for. Whether it's for your team, business, or church, come to Crown Trophy. We guarantee the highest level of customer service, and there's no charge for rush orders or trophy engraving. We're nationally known and locally owned. Visit us online to view our catalog at www.crowntrophy.com. Roadrunner Towing, we love our God, our children, our nation, and yes, our sports. So, let's play ball. Score big when you need to tow, either in East Baton Rouge or West Baton Rouge. Because at Roadrunner Towing, we don't want an arm and a leg, we just you want, want your toes. Yeah! And we're back right here on It's All About You. We were just talking about it before we got off the air, man. The matchups. Yeah. You pulled, a few, you pulled a few rabbits out of the hat. You know, for what? Yeah, you did it. I mean, for the senior side of it, 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 with the teams that's in there, there was no interleague like we're doing with the other age groups. So we had to go straight into so it. So this, does right. this start? Day one, you got to. Does this start like power rankings and all that? This is going to after, after week After week one, we got to get the national. National Prep Sports is bringing in the power rankings. Powered so, by National yeah. Prep Sports. Yeah, because actually this is powered by National Prep Sports, our, our, our feature show, our preview show for kickoff. For yeah. those of y'all don't know, our, our kickoff season kickoff, our 15-year season kicks off Saturday, Memorial Stadium, Olympia Stadium, and then Sunday, Memorial Stadium, Olympia Stadium. This is our 15th year doing this. We're bringing the city together as usual. Uh, we're the best kept secret in the city. We're not a secret anymore. He's I'm been sorry, saying that yeah. for years. We're yeah, not, I'm sorry. Everybody knows about we're us. Cha we changed with a nationally known <laughs> thing moving this side of the red stick. How about that? Yeah. Can we go with that? Yeah, this side of the red stick. Yeah, baby. I was about to say this side of Mississippi, but we on yeah. the other side of Mississippi too. Right, now. Yeah. right. We're so. doing stuff over there. But our, our first matchup, man, I really want to get into for, for this week. Why are you looking like that? Oh. The Jaguars and the Rams, man. A, a championship game, 2017 Make championship itch, game. Man. Man. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Jaguars and the Rams. They playing, as a matter of fact, they kicking off this Saturday at 10 o'clock. Uh, well. This Saturday at 10 o'clock. Yeah, okay. Dude, but I looked, at, I, I looked at the Jaguar no, lineup. The Jaguars across the front averaging what, 240? Yeah. 245? 240. 240. Average weight by yeah. 
So I, midgets, but but <laughs> swag swag lime. Swag, 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 I can't even say they look like swag lime. They don't look like swag lime. Yes, indeed. They look good. Good looking kids, man. Well, hard working. Oh, too. I like them. Yeah, I like them. As a matter of fact, I seen a couple of them playing basketball in hoop fest. Right. They they so they athletic. Right. Yeah. So you got kids that that are but, deemed linemen that will play linemen for the rest of their life. Uh huh. Honest to God, they are linemen, you know, for the most part. But they, they are athletic enough to play other sports. And we, we encourage them to participate yeah. in other things like basketball, baseball, things just, like that. I just don't think it's going to be a push over. It's going to be over. I seen y'all get off the bus. It's going to be a fight. <laughs> <laughs> I seen y'all get off the bus. <laughs> it's going to be a fight. It's, it's, a, it's a, the battle of the South, man. Like, it's nothing like the stands will be packed. It's, yep. it's, it's week one. The stands will be packed. It will be a sea of blue and gold. You're going to have royal blue. Then you're going to yeah, have powder ba- blue. Yeah, that powder. Columbia that. blue, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> navy blue. Sugar we wear blue. every color of the blue. You there know? you go. Yeah, we wear all the colors. So, so what the Jaguars wear? You, gonna have a, we're going to have a baby reveal? I mean, a uniform reveal? Uh, stay tuned, man. It's getting interesting. <laughs> Hold on, let me see what I said. We're gonna pull a, pull a uniform out the hat. A lot of people look they look for the show. The but show, I, I don't think it's gonna be a pushover though. It's I, not. When I first saw two forty five, I mean, cause they bigger than me. Yeah. I'm two twenty five on a good day. <laughs> two forty five at twelve. But I looked at the Rams roster. The good Rams look kids. good up front. They got they've Fair. always had good the one thing about the Rams, I give them their feeder, man. They're, they're, yeah. they, you, you're always yeah. going to get a, an aggressive kid that's going to move up. Yeah. A kid that doesn't mind competing and understands the concept of winning. Yeah. You know, that that's hands down the product that you're going to see coming up. And that's up. instilled in them from yeah. day one. Yeah. From day right. one. It, yeah. It's about being dominant, coming up and competing, not being afraid to put your nose in there and get yeah. in there. The same thing with a Jaguar kid, as you're going to see a kid that... Well, they cousins. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> most of the them are probably living so in the same house. They either, they got the same grandmother. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Momo, Mom, you got grandmothers on Saturday. You And Sunday, you're going to see, on uh, Saturday for sure, Yeah, you're going to see a lot of grandmothers that's going to be in a situation where halftime she got to change her shirt or she got a shirt <laughs> with... That with, couldn't have. With, with uh, tree stump on this side and she got... <laughs> One with uh, slow motion on the other side, you know, whatever they call his little nickname, man. Yeah. Every kid in our league, you know, we identify him by a with, nickname, by a yeah. nickname or a handle like that because it's always interesting to see a kid that you know looks at you and be like, "Wow, coach, what you call a, me yep. shrimp, son. Your name is shrimp from down." And the thing about it is, those names carry on throughout All the way through, yeah, man. throughout we, they, we got their life. Kids yeah. that play high school and they can call him by his real yeah. name, and we'll say, "Who?" You no, know, Joshua Parker. No, that's that's joystick. Joystick, you know? yeah. A golf ball. <laughs> golf ball. Yeah. Whatever. You know, yeah. all those those names have really truly stuck over the years. And I, I just look back and say, man, wow, we've had a chance to and we, we're still getting this chance to see some of the absolute best talent. I went yeah. to the LSU and not to get off what we're covering, I went to the LSU game mm-hmm. on Saturday. Birthday present. <laughs> from, from early birth, I mean, it was a birthday present. I appreciate it. Ain't nothing wrong and, with that. You know, you and sis hooked <laughs> you, me you up. Get, you getting older? <laughs> yeah. So we did the grown folks thing. You know, we went uh-huh. to the to the game, man. Which you know, I always had somebody football game on Saturday <laughs> after our games. But um, looking out on the field, man, I just got chills. You know, oh, yeah. and I, I've had kids to play. You know, that's why football. we not the secret yeah. anymore. But when you start looking and you you can name. Six, five, and you know, just imagine on a roster. Damon Clark, yeah, Cladrick was five years old when you right. first met him. That's it. Now they playing college ball. They're so college it, football so you watch them grow. It, it's not that. just you saying it because you're trying to latch on to a right. kid. You know how some people latch on to it's, a kid. Oh yeah, I've been knowing him all his life. Yeah. No, you really know this kid. Cladrick like. Hilaire Edwards. I tell people all the time, I would leave my game, and I, I don't hide it after mm-hmm. our game. Where is he playing? <laughs> Be- because I would watch a kid that was that young do something so amazing to me. Yeah. To have running patience at that age. And it was just graceful to watch him run. Well, just, you know? just wait till the big Jaguars jump on the field and you see Bert. Yeah. Again, it, the Bert Train. Bert Train Carroll, Chase Foster. Watching them from you, you five know, years old. Five all years old. DJ, you know, yeah, Donovan exactly. White Jr. Yeah, you know, exactly. Yeah. 
you know, his brother, so we call him Tay Tay, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, we can keep it's, it's I can Blake, Blake you know, yeah, we, got, exactly, we, got, yeah. we got several kids, man. So, so LSU and, and Southern has really realized that we're not a secret yeah, because we're, we're, cause we're on their roster. If we used to brag about, man, we're on every high school, we're still on every high school roster in this parish, yes. Yeah. And surrounding Paris. Right. Because we actually can go in Port Allen. You got some kids and stuff. But uh, we are in East Baton Rouge, Paris. There's no school that's not playing. As a matter of fact, uh, Caleb Jackson playing tonight right now uh, with Lehigh. JV, right. Lehigh just started, had their first game as a JV. He's the, right, they're feeding him the ball. Too, dude, right? yeah, the coach told me. I just me. got a phone call the right now. The coach said, man, earlier, I, got a, I got a kid named Caleb Jackson. I don't know where he came from. I say he came from us. He, he a Seahawks. Yeah. Yeah, Caleb, Caleb Jackson, and he's yeah. running it. He's a tough he's a, kid, too. And yep, but he's at Lehigh getting a good education. Right. But to go back to Bert, Bert Train, Bert Train has a brother that plays on that. Yeah, uh, That's a monster on that yeah. Jaguar team that's going to be playing Saturday against the yeah, Rams. Yeah, man. Oh, my So God. I would love to see uh, what that's going to be like when he runs up Believe it or not, people are surprised, going to be surprised at this. And I, I'll share it. You know, I, 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 we were going, I was going to hide it. He's not – he's probably the only kid that – he'll play D-line – Mm -hmm. Pretty much for the rest of his life, he'll probably be there. But he's he's fast enough to play other positions. Oh, yeah. He has linebacker he's speed to me. He's yeah. skilled enough to do other things. Yeah. You know, and it just depends on the height, height wise, where he checks out at. You know, uh, got, yeah. That, that's going to determine. If he can it. get bird height, then he'll. Well, he's, I mean, he's projected to be way bigger, you know, than. Oh, really? Yeah, he's bigger than Bird. Well, I know he's going to be swollen than Bird. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they're looking each other eye to eye right now. So. Wow. You know. But like I said, man, that, that Rams-Jaguars game is always a, fight, a good match. That, that, a good match that's one of those things I, I always tell people, man, it has. X's and O's plays a big part in it, but it, it boils down to strictly about guts. Yeah. Guts and it, that it, it – the game normally is is a tight game for the most part, mm -hmm. or you know it's tight all the way to when somebody makes a big what play. Seven six, seven six in the championship. Yeah, so kick, so I go back to you know I, 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 I gave a kid a chance. <clears throat> we I believe in every facet of the game. You know when I say every facet, all three components: special teams, offense, mm -hmm. and defense. You have to make sure that you're developing a kid to be able to do well, that's, those that's, yep. We always yep. talk about that. Yeah. That's, that's your job. But yep. you understand the bigger picture of yeah. that. Your job is not to win youth games. Your job is developing right. for that next level. Which, hence, you know, and it's not bragging or anything like that. You look at a product that's yeah, been stamped with us. No, I'm just being honest. You know, am I, you tell me, you, you're the fact checker. <laughs> kids leave our program. Kids leave the program on a scene level and – a majority of our kids have been able to go on and actually compete in some form or fashion. Oh yeah, as no. a freshman in in high school, you know, day day one coming in, yeah. understanding football, having an IQ, a high IQ, being able to being exposed to film study, yeah. being exposed to you know high school and collegiate concepts. We had we took our group to Alabama this summer, you know, to the Alabama football camp. Bragging, and we were, bragging, we were, we, we were, <laughs> bragging. no, I, I took them because just, just to show, just to show what the culture, a winning culture would look like. A winning culture feels like on a national yeah. level of, of, um, college. Yeah. And being immersed into the culture and watching these young studs go out here and compete with studs from around the country. Cause it's not just, you know, the average Joe Blow is there either yeah. a dad or a mom feel like. They, He's going to make be the next one, so we need a dollars investment into yep. your kids being there. That's a big deal. Yeah. So we were able to go there, and we had kids that truly stood out and made the, the Nick Saban team. The Nick team, Saban team. You know, all those things. And, and our group was invited to stay after. Oh, really? Yeah, they stayed after and went to the practice. They went to the Alabama practice. You know, all that's good. Yeah. But the Rams don't care when they come uh, play they Jaguars. Don't care. They, they shouldn't care. When it comes Saturday at 10 o'clock, the, Ra wouldn't care. the Rams Listen. gonna still say, I'm from South Baton Rouge. We practice at Memorial Stadium. Strap up, this is our house. Big you know, blue. <laughs> you know what? We're we gonna let it go. Then the next I, game, we're gonna talk about it. On, why on you the, won't let it go? We're gonna let it go. We're gonna let it go. Who the coach of the Rams? Who the coach of the Rams? Mm -hmm. Buster. Buster. Donnell Wallace. Big Buster. Okay, good. Buster. Yeah. Donnell Wallace. Buster, that's my friend. I like Buster. Buster, I believe that's a shout out. I believe he calling you out, man. <laughs> 
take it out on them. Bust it. <laughs> The, the next game we're going to look at, because we talked about uh, uh, golf ball, we do want to kind of golf ball grew up from the Rams, but he's he finished his season out with the Vikings. As a matter of fact, finished with a championship. With, so we want to look at the, the Vikings and the Bengals is going to be probably a real good game because the Vikings, and that's September 14th, we, we're doing that. The Vikings are coming off of probation. But they, they, they were a prominent team when that senior level. As a matter of fact, that the last year in the league, they were they probation. Were yeah, they come. Yeah, I mean, they, I, they, they, they you know, they you talk very, very political about being on probation. Pro, well, being and the Bengals are, are, are bringing a senior team. That, yeah. I, that, the reason why been, we're doing this is because it, the, this is the first year the Bengals are back with yeah. a senior team. So these two it's, teams. It's been are, a while, what, five years since Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. But they're secretly building over there in Independence because they joined forces with the Bears. Yep. And now they're strong. They become the, the strong. The Bengal Bears. The Bengal Bears. They were the Bucks. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the Ducks, the ducks, and, the the ducks Bengals, and the Bengals. They the became bucks. the Bucks. But, yeah, so it's the Bengals and the Bears are, are kind of combining on all levels. And their numbers are looking good. Their numbers are looking like, a you senior, know. A, a senior a, roster. Yeah, roster. well, their numbers are looking. Their organization numbers are looking like a Jaguars or Rams. That's or good, type. That's So good. it's really Great good guys me. over there. Dwayne Monoghan, you know, yeah. and, yep. and Rob, two guys I salute, man. You know, I always salute guys who what I feel like are doing it the right way. When I say doing yeah. it the right way, um, are in it for, for kids. Yeah. And when, when we're in it for kids, the, the, the true essence of what we're trying to build has a, uh, I, I, I guess, a transparent platform. Yeah. And, uh, well, you got to think about it. Dwayne is like you. Yeah. Y'all don't have kids playing in the program, no, so, so y'all no, still no. in it. Now, you got one coming. I found, look, you got one coming to the program. I but. finally <laughs> have a... A son, a seed that a is yours. That's that yeah, that's something that you. Yep. Uh, but, yeah, hit man might not want to play football. His uncle Leroy might have to shoot. <laughs> let him don't play football. He has a big three point stance at one. <laughs> yeah, let him know how, all that working out he doing and stuff. His <laughs> legs good. <laughs> but just you know, getting back to what we were talking about here, um, I look at the Vikings, man. The Vikings are one of those organizations. You know, the Wimborne Vikings, man, are what they are. <laughs> yep, when yeah. When I say that, they really are. taking a kid, the tough matchup part of this is, are the Bengals kids willing to get into a toe-to-toe -to -toe knockout punching battle? Well, I'm going to tell you, last year, man, the Bengals had a real gritty, gutsy 9- and 10-year-old team. Did they have Wimborne children? Did they have a child that was from 70805? <laughs> That would look. They uh, had a, they had a couple of them, but they, they, had, look they have some, they had some good athletes. Did they ride? So, so they ride the. They, so, do they but, still but ride think bicycles, about it. not they, bikes, <laughs> bicycles <laughs> to practice. Do, is well, you got to think about it. The they front? do. Are, they are getting some kids from the Bears who are coming from the Flannery area. Okay. That so is that, babies. Yeah, that's Sherwood babies. So okay. they they are getting some of the pride. And as a matter of fact, some of the kids at the Eagles, because the Eagles not having a senior team. Don't take it the wrong way. I hope you don't take it the wrong way, but it's just something about, let me tell you, it's something about a child, <laughs> and I'm going to be honest with you. This is they a had to pay his own registration fee? <laughs> oh. When he pull up, when he got his own birth certificate and registration fee and a, and a piece of paper. And an envelope. He said, here, coach. <laughs> and a Crown Royal second change. a Crown change. Royal second. Of, look, he said, I sold, I, look, <laughs> I sold some goodies and got you. Yeah. That kind of kid. Yeah. You can't. It's price. It's tough. I mean, Those and that's the one thing about it is I, I have to give it to them. The uh, the Vikings have tough kids. They have tough coaches. Mm -hmm. The coaches are are the kids are a reflection of, of the, the coaches. coaches. Yeah, and Telly the coaches, Wells. You know, I look at Telly Wells, and and I I've coached with Telly Wells. Care, I mean, Care Care is a great guy. Care G. Yeah, my yeah, guy, yeah. You know, he doesn't I have. At, yeah, so I look he, at uh, ice cream. Ice cream is. Yep. The, Ice cream, I consider him to be the heart and soul of the. Of the well, they, of the crew. they got some new coaches that came over there, really, like Derek Williams came over yeah. when they when they left and went to the traveling program, and then realized that we still the best, right. we're the best thing going, we're the yeah. best thing since sliced bread. When they you came know what back, I, I like to see at the What's end. Of, I I like to see, you know, if we need to call National Press Sports and ask them to set it up for the tournament of champions to happen. What? Where, where, because I know national press sports the only people can get this done. They bring it together. Yeah, because yeah. it had to be on the national yeah. level. It got to be on the national. The tournament of champions, whether, whether they're from the travel league, they're from our league, we need to line up on, we'll on see. And, we'll, and, just, and just play. We had to see. We had to and see so that. Because it's possible. It, yeah. It's possible. And uh, the last game we're looking at on this one. Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. You 
ain't give these people they just do. Who? The, the Bengals. I'm telling you, the Bengals on up. Come up. You, 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 yeah, you quietly. Didn't, See, they, I, didn't, I, didn't I don't hear, think the Bengals I didn't, wanted what I to didn't tell hear, it. I didn't hear you go in like, ooh, they got such and such. Tell me. I mean, you did your research. Tell me they, they oh, got a the guy. Did they add some guys or what did they do? Wait. I believe you, you game plan that? You trying, I'm, trying I'm to get that? <laughs> The, the Bengals actually have a nice core group of kids that came from their nine and ten year old program, but they also bringing in a core group of kids because the Bears had an eleven to twelve year olds last year. So so they so, put so, it all together. Yeah. Okay. The Bear Bengals. The Bear Bengals. The Bear Bengals. I like. It. I'm telling you. And the, Vi- the Vikings. It's, it's, I know they've been working hard, man. To, well, they, they, they want to come back and and show that they're a good program because they're, they're overall they are a good organization. Yeah. The the guys you know the, they're doing their best to to get get everything because they're working with. Just like the Jaguars, the Rams, the Hornets, and all the Raiders, they're working with underprivileged True kids. True underprivileged yeah, yeah, no, this, inner city. This, this, yeah, this is an yeah. inner city program. And I sure. tell people all the time, our kids, our kids are in unique situations, man. Yeah. And we'll and which when we get we'll get more in, in depth in those after we cover these 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 matchups. Uh-huh. But our kids in such unique situations, man. Oh yeah. You know, and with all the gun violence and things, I I, I something I need to cover about. You know, football practice at, the, at you know, and some something that our kids are dealing with that most kids don't have to see. Yeah. Or, or, oh, no. or, I'm telling you, know. you, and this is not something new. Right. I'm going to tell this story and then we're going to segue into where mm-hmm. when I was coaching, we used to practice the practice facility that we were practicing at was by a neighborhood and it was kind of off the interstate. So I was going to practice one morning. This was like 8.30 in the morning. We was, had a game. I was going to pick up the kids from the game and stuff. Mm-hmm. And the street was blocked off. So I had to go around. It was a detour for me to get to the practice field. So I made the detour, got to the practice field, and half my team was there waiting for me. And I was like, man, didn't y'all see the street was blocked off? How did y'all get here? They said, oh, we walked right by the dead body. That's real. It was nothing for them. So... That was just, and they with their football equipment ready to play the game. We went out, and I, I believe we beat the Eagles that weekend. <laughs> but, but I mean, the, the kids didn't. The kids saw that and didn't think anything of it. And it's sad that we're so numb uh, down yeah, to we, violence. Um, now. We become immune, yeah, to violence, man. Like on a whole nother level. Like yeah, exactly. we, we're we're more excited about the rest in peace T-shirt and the balloon release. <laughs> versus being excited about supporting him while he's alive and doing something and doing and whatever something, activity yeah. that, that they're involved in that that that's positive. So I mean, just as I I, I want to get yeah, this to do, man. So, you know. So the, the the last game that we're actually running into for for this uh, uh, segment here with our seniors and and it kind of segue in from the battle. Right. Of the, the Battle North. of North Baton Rouge, yeah. <laughs> we got the Scotlandville the Seahawks and the Daddy Hornets, versus man. That's, Junior. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's September 21st. We got that game coming up. And uh, the, the the game, the reason why the game is, is so good is that Charles played for Coach Marlin. How, so, how, and how Charles is the offensive co- Yeah, he's the offensive coordinator for the senior team. So he played it. So it's going to be an offensive show because – those two teams want to pass the ball. You yeah. got that line. The, the, the Jaguars got a line that they're going to try to pound it down your throat. And then they got How that track. That? Because y'all got track. Y'all been practicing track since <laughs> December. You just told me <laughs> that y'all was practicing track since December. So y'all got speed. But, yeah, that, the Seahawks and the Hornets game is going to be a passing attack because both coaches want a, that high power with spread offense, running it, want to try to score as much as possible. Now, I don't know. I've looked at some of the rosters. I don't know how defense is going to be. But <laughs> – Surprisingly, when we were talking about size, man, the Seahawks got a nice front line. That's good, man. They're, they're looking at about 215 across the front. That's good. So meat, some meat packages is going to be able to push people around these days. Whoa. So that's why I say, man, and the, we got you got to think big about boys it. In the league. You got to think about it. Scotlandville, the Seahawks actually was in the championship game last year. They did. They sent the so, Jaguars home. Shame. Yeah. So, Not just sent them home. Oh, yeah. No, it was. A, Shame. It, it was a payback from the what, regular season. What a, what a, I'm talking about a, a defensive shift, man. Like they came yeah. in with a game plan that minimized every every opportunity, which was phenomenal. I, and I tip my hat to those guys. Yep. So, great, so great. we have some good games on mm-hmm. on tap for that yep. eleven or twelve year age. I, I want to see that game, man. I, I always look at you know, and and our league, Marlin, at this present moment is considered to be the, you know, on the on the, on the 11, level. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. He, he is Nick Saban. 
Yep. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, he had a, I mean, yeah, he had a real good run. He yeah. had a five-year run that was like no other, like championship five-year yeah. run. What, yep. Before that, he had a five-year run of second place. He was yeah. he was a Buffalo Bill. <laughs> he was the Aaron Sutton. <laughs> before Aaron Sutton took the title. Y'all have got it from Buffalo, then he passed it on to you. Well, but that, that's our segment, man, uh, for our preview for the 11 and 12-year-olds. When we come back on our, our next break, we're going to talk about that, that age group that's kind of – that's the biggest age group we have, man. Yeah. We, we have yeah. more – more teams in that age group, more kids in that age group. So and right now, support that yeah. age group. They really get down with it, man. They're so a baby, but not a baby in that age group. So you still had a support. So we'll be right back, man, with our juniors. Featuring oh, it's all about the you. Keep it locked, baby. Roadrunner Towing, we love our God, our children, our nation, and yes, our sports. So, let's play ball. Score big when you need to tow, either in East Baton Rouge or West Baton Rouge. Because at Roadrunner Towing, we don't want an arm and a leg, we just we want, want your toes. Yeah! Do you need to say great job, congratulations, or way to go? Crown Trophy on Sherwood Forest Boulevard in Baton Rouge has the trophy, plaque, acrylic, or crystal award you're looking for. Whether it's for your team, business, or church, come to Crown Trophy. We guarantee the highest level of customer service, and there's no charge for rush orders or trophy engraving. We're nationally known and locally owned. Visit us online to view our catalog at www.crowntrophy.com. back live on It's All About the Youth. Uh, I guess I'm your host, Aaron Sutton. You know that guy with that's Leroy Holland, man. You eating them cheese sticks, man. <laughs> we crossed out your teeth. Cheese sticks good. Real some good. With a little bacon wrap around it. You don't eat that swamp. Oh, yeah. No, I'm messing with the swamp. But some of the best chicken wings, man. You come over and get some. They used to be 50 cent, but they're not 50 cent anymore. They're still good. They're, they're not, real good. They're still good. But smoke some, wings, man. Smoke wings. If y'all didn't know, we were taping live over here uh Scoreboards. Yeah. Are yeah. they still 50 cent? On Wednesday. Wednesday. See, we just got it from the boss. It's confirmed. They're it's still confirmed. Wednesday, 50 cent wings on Wednesday. I'll tell I tell you, that, that's what I thought. We that's heard what, about it. Well, anyway. Well, I'm about to get a plate of 50 cent wings because it was told to me as a false advertisement. 
Allen. <laughs> hey, what what happened with them Vikings and Seahawks, man? <laughs> <laughs> Was that a voice of God <laughs> or but, Satan? <laughs> you know, we were talking earlier. I I, I don't want to uh, forget about this. But we were talking er, earlier about the the legends that come, the guys that went on to play in the NFL, like mm -hmm. you know Marcus Spears too. Yeah. You just Marcus Spears got a super. <laughs> Uh, dope shout out yesterday, man, from um, um, Stephen A. Smith. Oh, really? Stephen A. Smith was talking about the next generation of great uh, guys that were coming up in the oh, business, broadcast, yeah. in the broadcasting business. And the first guy he highlighted, man, he said, "Man, Marcus Spears is the next dude." Wow. He like stamped him, man. Just gave him that. Uh, yeah, like that's he's big. The next dude. I was like, man, that's what's up. That's man. big because you got to think about the man. Stephen A. Smith started small, yeah, and worked his way up to Mark being the Chris Berman of ESPN. Yeah. He is the face of ESPN. Yep. Yeah, Marcus actually was able to get in off his playing career, mm -hmm. but uh, Stephen A. For him, somebody that worked A his journalist, way up, that yeah, worked his way up through the ranks and give somebody like Marcus Spill that that stamp. That was oh, pretty yeah. good, man. Super big, man. But. Uh, we're in our double A's, man. We're talking about our juniors now, big time juniors. And we had we had some guests on the previous show. <laughs> I heard myself. They still them take place in the junior division, and it happened. Yeah, I'm gonna tell it. It happened between the Vikings and, and the and the Seahawks in the line at registration. From what I what they say, look, they say they still them happen in the line at registration. And, and I you, even read, let me finish <laughs> telling you, good tell. I even read on the internet today, today, this morning when I woke up, the coach from the Seahawks say, he's playing a team this Saturday, uh -huh. and at halftime, do you hear me? He said he's going to beat them so bad at halftime, he's going to take his starters out and not sit them on the bench. Put him in the stands and buy him a turkey. Oh, wow. <laughs> he said he's going to beat them. He's going to beat him so bad. Wow, he but that's it. that's still that's the eleven and twelve year old matchup. No, 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 because no, the nine and ten is gonna play to November ninth. They play. Well, I'm wrong then. Well, he they, was talking. Whoever he, he was talking about the eleven and twelve year old. He's gonna punish him. He already told him. He said he was when he beat him in the nine and ten year old level. That's the if you, we can see the graphics to put up that Vikings and the Scarlettville Seahawks double A. That game, yeah, that's it. That, that game is actually November ninth. That's the last game of the season. And he said that he's going to beat him so bad because he lives by Wimber. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's he going to start practicing over in Wimber. <laughs> so he wanted to take their practice spot. <laughs> so you know we had to feature that game. We had to talk about that so game. They, are they we, gonna, so they're playing for, for the rights to Wimber. <laughs> to Wimber. Uh -huh. Now we jumped, in the jumped ahead in the season, but it's a great matchup because it, there's a lot, lot of backstory behind that. And yeah. you saw it on the show, some of our earlier shows. If you hadn't had a chance to look at it, you can go to LYSNTV.com. You know that song, you know my favorite? Feel is so deep in my feelings. <laughs> Some people get deep they in their feelings. They in their feelings, yeah. You, you have, if you've never seen grown people get in their feelings, Saturday, yep. I promise you, you will see adults almost cry. <laughs> if Man, not cry, he's, you gonna, he going to cry when he get in the car. <laughs> You gonna see a lot of coaches. Well, well, well I'm gonna tell you, we saw it. We saw it out of two other coaches that was almost. I thought they was gonna. Well, they said they was gonna put on pads and, and yeah. play. Remember, yeah. remember, he said if you put on pads, pads, we'll win another championship. That's it. That was with the Rams and the Eagles. So that's that a, that's actually our October fifth. It's coming on October fifth. You see that Rams and the Eagles uh, graphics that we're about to put up. That, that game there is, uh, and you saw it here on the show. You saw it really the build up. I saw a coach. I saw Coach Dex have the audacity to look in a man's eyes <laughs> and tell him, you know I'm better than you. <laughs> and the man next to him, which was Pat Green, the self-proclaimed best coach. best coach ever <laughs> in the history, in the history. <laughs> of youth football, said, I don't know what you could do. Oh, yeah. I don't, know I don't what remember that. that. I don't remember that. I don't remember that one fact, of those guys. Fact check. Dex did beat Pat. Pat beat Dex, but Dex did beat Pat for two of his championships. Whoa. So it was. Yeah. No, Dex wasn't wrong about it. So Dex was. And then when Dex, <laughs> the, the sad thing about it is, man, when Dex lost the championship, that last championship to Pat, Dex walked through the stadium with three bays. Yeah. Like it was staged. I he had already had to play. Yeah. Remember, he came down the stadium. He, he came to Memorial Stadium 
with three trophies, like he, he had already planned. I don't believe so. I don't think he shook hands. Either. Yeah, no, he it, it, he it's a blood match. It. Well, you heard Pat say, man, he ran across the field and wanted to fight him in <laughs> one of the games. So we hope there's not fighting in this game here. They're but not. I don't think they're gonna go to blows. No, uh, uh-uh. uh. No, they're friends. I mean, they, they're friendly rivals. Right? Outside Cause, of because Dex has been around just as long as Pat. Yeah, Dex is a living legend in yeah. his own right. Yeah, the, the, the great thing about that. Well, I don't know if you knew this that. The Eagles are a branch off. Everybody's kind of branch off. Yeah, except we're, for the, the, we're, we're your branch I mean, off of the Rams. The Jaguars are a branch That's off of the Rams. The the Raiders are the Eagles are a branch off of the Raiders. Oh wow! Yeah, the Bears are were a branch off of the Hornets. Wow! So the the trees, you know, the, those old coaches. So the, Sean the, Pat, you yeah. got the Seahawks. The, the Seahawks are branch off of the Hornets. Hornets yeah. yeah, the Vikings the are Vikings branch off of Jaguars. Yeah, they, 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 you got yeah. Some, you got yeah, the children. So, out so here, there was what you call it, but that's that's the growth that you want. You want to see that. You you want right. to see uh, uh, young coaches go to other neighborhoods. And, we because we want to service every neighborhood, yeah, every community. If that's possible. the mission. That's so, that is the mission. Not so much the goal. The goal. You know, it's one thing, but the mission, our mission is to make sure that we're saturated yeah. throughout every community in the <laughs> greater city and, and, and abroad. The, and, and the funny thing about it is we are branching out and not just in the urban communities, no, but in the suburban that's communities. That's it. Because we have a matchup coming up. Uh, that's what, October 12th. We have the St. George Dragons. Saint, I live and in St. George, matter of fact. Yeah, Saint, the St. George. Dra- area that's now, considered to be now the thing about it is, is that the Cubs are really the U-high Cubs. And yeah. They, they played in the league a couple of years ago and enjoyed it so much. They said, you know what, we're gonna, we want to come back. Right. And these were from the parents, not just from the coaches, but the parents said they wanted to come back. So, so when you think of diversity, you think of, you know, um, putting the community in a spot where we can all be harmoniously. Yeah. And in, in, in tune with each other. What game do you, does, do you love? Football. I don't Football care what look, it, anybody that brown the, ball, it, 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 that would brown cha- ball it can change can, the world. Can change the world, man. Yeah. I, and it's been proven. Bear Bryant, you know, I, I, I look back at all of the legends yeah. in this game that realized that color lines were hindering the best product from being displayed. Exactly. And once you saw them united. As you can see on Saturday and Sunday, you saw the, when the mm-hmm. creme de la creme <laughs> yep, you see, put together. See some of the best execution, the best execution of execution this game. And the exhibitions that you want to see. Yep. You can't, I mean, some we've been a part of some things that, that because of the, you know, those barriers have been dropped that yeah. you can say, man, I couldn't have paid to see oh, yeah. this. Yeah, you know? no, you're right. Yeah, just to be a part, just to be in the mix of just it. Just to be there. Yeah, so... I always look at those things and I, I salute, you know, the the pioneers, but also the guys who are willing and who get it. Yeah. Who get it, man. The color lines don't have nothing to do with my child Not, playing, a, being a part of the best. And playing football. Yeah. I mean, because the Cubs team that played that previous year with our program, they were fifth graders, which is the nine mm-hmm. and 10-year age group. They went on to be sixth graders and the Catholic school actually has like a middle school program. They played in the, and ran through them. Yeah. And it was really based off of the fact that they played good football that previous year. You, and you heard Coach, the coach, he actually gave kudos to saying, hey, we, we came back for two main reasons. The league is a great league, mm-hmm. but our kids are exposed to great football. You know, yeah. and he said that he was like, look, we get more aggressive, and we yeah. come out here and we play in a great brand of football. And he also made another key point. He said – these kids are having an opportunity to be teammates from here on. Uh, you you the, the, the championships that you have won over the past couple of years uh, was based off of products that coming from Louisiana, Louisiana football. Yeah. Whether, whether, whether anybody recognizes it or not, we know the, yeah. the, the Christian Harris, which we just oh, yeah. saw on Saturday night Definitely. as a true freshman. Mike and Hollins. Um, you know, Mike he, Hollins, yeah, he's at, at Virginia. The University of Virginia, he's going – yeah, bananas, you know? exactly. Yeah, so you can, we can Nick Brosette. Nick Brosette. Nick Brosette came back and volunteered as a coach with the program. But he was a player. He was a foul. That's what I'm saying. That, yeah. So that's a great character that that he learned from being around right. good men because he not only said, well, you know, I'm gonna use you up and get my football skills together. He right. came back and gave back the kids. Yeah. That, that it's a good. fraternity, man. The foundation of what what has been built here with the the volunteers and the, the vision, all be, you know, all coming together. Is a, a true fraternity of a, a brotherhood that oh, yeah. you know you had that that stamp you know because <laughs> I watch being a being a you know a high school coach you hear kids now you know they talk like they you d- played in what league yeah yeah they, 
you don't yeah. want no smoke. Yeah. You know, the room may be balkanized. Look, based on <laughs> are you a Louisiana U football player? Or are you a such and such league? And, and some know? of the kids don't even remember the name. But yeah. if you didn't play at Memorial Stadium, you uh, didn't why, play football. Why, why we talking? Yeah, you yeah. didn't play football. You didn't play football. <laughs> but again, we can't close the season out. We can't close this nine and ten year segment without talking about. It's going down. Nobody else but the South Baton Rouge Rams and South Baton Rouge Jaguars. Rams and Jaguars, man, you're going to see them actually November 9th, last game of the season before we start our playoffs. It's, a, it's always a good matchup. I think I think this year. That's the color battle. They, oh they playing for colors God. again? It's gonna be, yeah, they, they playing for colors. They playing for colors? It's, it, this battle is going to be so unique this year because, man, man, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> You talk so, when I, when Memorial I say Memorial Stadium. That's chess game. That's where it's gonna be it's at gonna Memorial, be a true Memorial chess. Stadium, eleven fifteen. A true As a chess matter of fact, game. that November night day is a special date at both stadiums because it's some a lot of key matchups that's coming on, and it's gonna be great to uh, see that close out our our season with those matchups. A lot of rivalry. The thing about it is, first place and second place is probably gonna be in in some of those games. Those games are going to be it's decided out to how to play us week eight, yeah. whatever it is, to determine what's your seat. Who, what's your I seat? like it like that. I mean, <laughs> you know, it means something. Yeah, some people get through by week four. You know, well, yeah, it's over with. yeah, we ain't enough games, right? The, the, the but games you got some are stiff competition, man. Like, you know, you got at least five weeks where you have to have well, your true. What well, the, the nine and ten? Yo, the great thing about it is that there's interleague because there's a SEC East and the SEC West. So mm -hmm. there's interleague play in the beginning of the season. Yeah. But then you get into your your actual league play, your divisional play, and that's where it's really you fighting to the nail, and you're seeing Georgia, Alabama mm -hmm. style football, LSU every mm -hmm. week. So you got to come to play. It's tough. I looked at on the senior level. That that, that that's the kind of schedule I think. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah you, I tell you, yeah. I y'all jump out of the gates. Yeah, I think there's no. I'm, I'm giving them a soft game. I've got a warm up game. No, you're not playing Appalachian State stuff. <laughs> you have no tune up. It's just like <laughs> the new SEC version. Yeah, of it. Yeah, you Your first game, go play Texas. Go, go play Texas. Exactly. Go, go yeah. Play Alabama. You're just not getting the money like Georgia that. in week one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it's just. But again, that, that's our, our nine and ten year preview of some of the key matchups and stuff. In our next segment, we're going to really get into. That seven and eight year old them babies. That's that's I'm telling you, that's what the grandmas love. Yeah. Cause that's our Sunday game. That's our family. This is our family age group that right. nine, that seven and eight year age group. It's, it's always really always interesting, man. I you if you pass by Memorial Stadium on a Sunday, I tell I tell people all the time, and you wonder why are all these people at this stadium on a Sunday? On a you see smoke, <laughs> barbecue pit. <laughs> <laughs> and they leave church, and they, uh, they can say, Rep, say amen. <laughs> we put our $2 in. We're on out. They're on there with hallelujah. Uh, one finger pray, tipping out. Please pray for them Jaguar. <laughs> pray for them. You know, they, sometime they come to church with the colors on. With the colors on. He got his football equipment on sitting in the back of the Because he know he's he leaving say, straight. I can't be late. <laughs> I can't be late. So we, <laughs> when we come back, why we got to have church at 12? <laughs> they don't have no 10 o'clock. No. <laughs> we played the first game. <laughs> we played the first game. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to talk about our Sunday, that, that great Sunday, our family day. It's a seven and eight year olds. That's our, what we call our sophomores. So it, it's single A, seven and eight year old sophomores. So if you didn't know, we have a freshman division, which is our five and six year olds. They play on Sundays. Our sophomore division that plays on Sundays as well. That's our seven and eights. Our juniors that play on Saturday, nine and tens, and then the seniors, 11 and 12. The, uh, the, the great thing about it is because our program is about teaching that high school next level, we broke our divisions down in, into the high school levels as well. So you'll, you'll see that in our program. You see elements of college and high school in there. We don't have Super Bowls. Everybody else having Super Bowl. That's for the pros. We have championship games because we want to keep it consistent with that they are student athletes. They're not professional players, so we don't play in the Super Bowl. Yeah. So when we come back from this, from this commercial break, we'll get into our seven and eight-year-olds, our sophomore age group. The pups. <laughs> At Roadrunner Towing, we love our God, our children, our nation, and yes, 
our sports. So let's play ball. big when you need to tow either in East Baton Rouge or West Baton Rouge because at Road Runner Towing we don't want an arm and a leg we you just want your toes. Yeah! Do you need to say great job, congratulations, or way to go? Crown Trophy on Sherwood Forest Boulevard in Baton Rouge has the trophy, plaque, acrylic, or crystal award you're looking for. Whether it's for your team, business, or church, come to Crown Trophy. We guarantee the highest level of customer service, and there's no charge for rush orders or trophy engraving. We're nationally known and locally owned. Visit us online to view our catalog at www.crowntrophy.com. <laughs> That's what you gonna hear Grandma saying. <laughs> she Woo! keep hitting away. Run, Tuki. I did some Daniel Tukey. Greens on the dust on. Yeah, I mean, she gonna have. <laughs> she gonna have. A, she gonna have a wig. They got lace fronts. Oh now. yeah, got a wig on. She gonna have a wig. You know, young girls wear wigs. Man, I seen a, a child, a kid, baby with a wig. I saw that man. It looked like they got a microphone thing. <laughs> He's like the Tyler Perry. Man, we talk about football. Oh, okay. you, <laughs> you being messy. Just, like, you being messy like them South Baton Rouge Rams be messing hey, at games. Listen, they're going to have this the <laughs> microphone thing right there. And they're going to have it when it starts sweating because, you know, it be hot at the game. They, and they're going to beat up and going to roll. <laughs> Mace, we, what do you want me to say? We, we talking about the South Baton Rouge <laughs> and the Bengals. The last, on the last episode, the South Baton Rouge Rams and the Bengals was talking off air, off camera. I heard, I heard they got the, messy, messy. <laughs> the Bengals told the Rams last year y'all ain't get but eight yards, eight yards, rushing yards. Y'all ain't get but eight rushing yards. This is the seven to eight yard age group. Y'all ain't get but eight yards. Did he the, say it with his chest? He said it with his chest. Did now, the Bengals, I believe, bringing back a good number of those kids in that seven to eight year age group. So it's that personal. Team. So yeah, so I believe they think that they got. So a, you mean to up. tell me? That the Bengals said it with their chest to the Rams. Push ups. They been push doing up. push ups. Independence, you walk around. Johnny that. Wright, <laughs> RIP, the OG, the, le the, 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 the legend himself. Because I can only imagine right now. Could you imagine? <laughs> can you give me a glimpse wait, wait. of what Johnny Wright would have said? Now, right you now? know, if a Rams coach lose at this level here, they usually get fired. You get fired. Yeah. Oh, you get fired. Tripp has been fired. <laughs> David Ferguson got fired. I mean, you get fired on this level. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, Jack Jackson. Yeah. I don't know if you remember Jack. Jack Jackson got fired and went over to the Gators. 
Come on. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, if you lose on this level here for the Rams, you get fired. So the Bengals already said last year, Jonathan Ferguson, we held y'all to eight. We held y'all to eight yards. Eight yards. So they're trying to do it again this Ferg, year. Ferg, you're, you're on the clock. You're on the clock. You're on the clock. Eight yards, dog. Now, now no first downs, Now, let me tell you what else was personal from the last show. I don't know if you watched it, man. The, the Hornets and the Scotlandville Seahawks. That was really a personal matchup. No, they didn't speak about it. You saw we had people come I in saw, and say, tell saw, the truth. I saw, like, a little tension. I, I no, saw some people, like, kind of say. It's tension. It's real bad? It's tension. So you want to be at October 20th because it's personal. The head coach for the Seahawks. What date is the game? October 20th. Right. The, the head coach of the Seahawks and the, uh, the offensive coordinator for the Hornets had a real personal match when they was together as coaches. They used to be coaching mm -hmm. together. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't a good divorce. They lied about it, but it wasn't a good divorce. Somebody got the dog. Somebody got the kids. Oh, <laughs> you took the TV? It took the TV. Oh. <laughs> and you know we can't, we can't end the, the season out without having what? The hide and, and seek. Got <laughs> we got to have a hide and seek game. <laughs> with the, the, the squat down. With the squat down with the Jaguars and the Vikings. The now, now the I'm going to tell down. you, in the defense of the, the squat down offense, it is the single wing. Yes. But on the other side of it, that they don't realize what, the, what most of the people, what coaches in the league is arguing about, it's not running the single wing. It's how they're squatting down with the it. The illusion. Yeah. If they got in a three-point stand like A.J., see, but it, I don't believe they teach it like you taught A.J. that three-point stand. But if they got they into teach it, it's just the whole principle of you got to find the ball. That's what it is. It's hide and seek. At the end of the day, yeah. it's still football. So we're going to see what who does who does hide and seek. Who playing hide and seek better? Well, well you're the daddy. <laughs> Yeah, he's the son. That's true. I got to give it to it. As a matter of fact, there was a tribute to Terry, Terry by one of the other coaches. Yeah. That's not even with the, the Vikings. Right. So, I mean, it's, it's going to be interesting to see who wins this hide-and-seek matchup. Well, <laughs> now that you've been messing all this, this whole show, <laughs> well, I want to let you know this. What you want to let me know? I'm about? looking for, man, Saturday. It's football season, Turkey man. Way. I don't care nothing about football season. You look for Turkey, turkey Way. way. <laughs> <laughs> they, turkey. Hey. If you've never been to Memorial Stadium, the takeaways will be there because you know why? It's all about the youth. We catch you this weekend. This week stadium near you, baby. For you. It's only entertainment. Not entertained. Are you not?